what ship were you on and how old were you at the time? I was on HMS Brilliant, which is a Type 22 frigate, um, and I was 31 years of age when the Falklands happened. I was on HMS Hecla, which was a Royal Naval survey ship, uh, and I was 23 years old, having been in the Navy for seven years, joined in 1975. So, how old are you? I'm 26 years old. 26, yes. so, yeah, three years uh, older than I was when I was in the Falklands. I served on HMS Broadsword on Falklands uh, in 1982. I was uh, 23 years old. Do you mind me asking how old you are? I'm 24. Oh, well, there so you go. Very similar. Pretty much the same age, yeah. Yeah. I mean, 23 is, is you, think you're, you think you're old enough to cope with whatever gets thrown at you. I've been in the Navy seven years. Um, but nothing can prepare you for, for something like this. It just doesn't. What was your job on board? I was a uh, Petty Officer Marine Engineer mechanic, Mechanical, basically a POMI, which was to deal with uh, all the engine room. Uh, I was an LWMO, which is Leading Weapon Engineering uh, Mechanic, uh, brackets ordnance, so we looked after uh, pretty much small arms, day-to-day uh, -day, uh, administration and uh, the weapon systems on board the ship. My job on board ship as a stores accountant was looking after the Navy's stores, that's uh, food, um, because we were joint trained in them days. Uh, kit, uniform, and equipment to keep the ship running. Uh, that was my job, that's the job I joined the Navy for. Um, and that all changed, unfortunately, in uh, 1982, because on a hospital ship, I went from being a stores accountant in the Royal Navy to a medic in a war zone. I don't think that I don't think my training at HMS Pembroke as a stores accountant could have ever given me any um, knowledge and understanding of what I was about to do. Um, it's incredible. Before the invasion, had you ever heard of the Falklands and did you know where they were? Yeah, interesting. The, the, the myth is that everybody thought it was north of Scotland. Because Falkland Islands, it sounds a bit, you know, Scottish. And we were thinking, why would the Argentinians want to invade an island off the coast of Scotland. But obviously, as the, as the conflict uh, escalated, we did uh, come to terms with where we were actually going, and it's going to be 8,000 miles away from home, yeah. Um, as I mentioned to you earlier, we, we'd already been deployed for two and a half months on the ship doing a survey of the Canary Islands uh, for the Spanish Navy. Uh, we got called into Gibraltar and got told, OK, you're now a hospital ship, you're going to sail to the Falklands, and acts as a hospital ship there now. Um, and, and that was it. That's, that's the first we'd heard about it. Suddenly we saw maps where it was. We're thinking, this is a million miles away. We've got to go all the way down there in a little small ship. And they're not the most seaworthy vessels, survey ships. No kill, flat bombs. They roll around and pitch all over the place. But, um, yeah, um, I did know where they were, to answer your question. Um, but I just didn't, at the time, understand the, the sheer relevance of the situation. It's only when the news came about, you suddenly realised what had happened, that you understood why we were going down there. How would you sum up your Falklands War experience? I'm glad I did it, but I wouldn't want to do it again. It, it, it all came out, thankfully, for my ship. We didn't have any deaths, we had a few casualties, but um, the experience there was, as I say, frightening. Um, for me personally, in that sense, um, the not knowing whether you're going to survive, leaving the family behind, um, but thankfully, got through it. Experience is uh, traumatic at the time because you were going into the unknown. Nobody, I didn't know what we were going to be doing. We didn't know whether we were going to go in amongst the warships that were, that were being bombed. Uh, where we were going to sit outside and just wait for casualties to be brought to us. It was only when we got down there and found out that we would have to be going into Goose Green, Darwin, Buff Cove, Ajax Bay, San Carlos, to literally pick up casualties. Um, and I look back now and think to myself, I did a fantastic job with no training whatsoever. But that's the myth. The training existed from what I had in the Navy. It just instinctively kicks in. You, I can't tell you how it kicks in, but it does. 
the experience was something I've never experienced in my life. If I had to do it again, I'd do it again. I'm proud of what I did. You know, the help I gave to people. Amazing experience, amazing experience uh, for such a young person, 23 years old.